Hello Year 6, so hopefully you would have gone to Google Classroom and found this sheet, or find it afterwards, where we have a small picture of a city scene by L.S. Lowry, famous artist, and also a big half of that picture. So Lowry drew and painted the streets of Salford, which is near Manchester, a very industrial city, and he's become very famous for those scenes. Today you're going to have a go at drawing the other half of the street, so you can use that to give you ideas. If you have a printer at home, you can print this sheet out and actually draw it on the sheet like I'm going to show you. If you don't have a printer, don't worry, you can use a piece of paper to draw your half, okay? Um, next week, hopefully, you'll have your sketchbooks at home so you can use those. So what you'll notice with um, Lowry's pictures is he has a great sense of space and distance. You can see the buildings going away from you and the lines of the roof and the pavement looking like they're coming together to create a point. The point at which those lines disappear from the tops or the bottoms of buildings um, is called the vanishing point. Okay, and the lines that we would draw to help us show the sense of distance are called the construction lines. Now actually, you can see that even the lines, for example, of the top of the windows or the bottom of the doors also look like they come together to merge into a vanishing point. Now you've got half of the street and you're going to draw the other half. So this house at the end of the road, the vanishing point would be around about in the middle. It's actually on eye level. Everything above it looks like it's coming down towards the vanishing point and everything below it looks like it's going up. So your job, um, you can use a ruler if you want to and draw it very defined, or I'm perfectly happy if you're drawing it freehand, so that's where you sketch it, and then when you're happy with your line, you go over it and define it. So first of all, this house is right at the end, so it's actually dead straight on like that. Okay, and then you can draw the little windows on either side, four windows. Um, now the other side, let's put the roof on it, the other side, the street looks like it's coming bigger, it's coming towards us where things look bigger. So if the vanishing point was there, look, you can see the roof is going down towards that on that side. Also on the other side, I could do a line going up like that for the top of the buildings um, and a line going down for the bottom of the buildings and even for the pavement. Let me just hold that up to the camera. So you can see um, the house at the end of the street is dead straight onto us and then the sides of the building are going as if they are getting smaller because that's how our eyes make sense of the world. We know that, big is as, is a, that house is as big as that one but because it's far away it becomes smaller in our vision. Okay, now... Do you have to copy exactly Lowry's artwork? No, we're art, aren't we? If you would like to draw it the same as this one, you can. But the whole point of this lesson is showing us that you can finish off a street scene, making it look like there's a sense of distance or perspective. So I don't mind, and Miss Coralie doesn't mind, if you draw these buildings slightly different. We don't mind if you put the people in different places. We would like you to draw in the style of Larry, but you can be an artist and change it the way you wish. So I might make this building here slightly bigger. I'm gonna put four windows in it. So remember they'd look a little bit bigger and then getting smaller as they go further away. Um, I might put, I could copy that woman or I might decide actually, I'm going to do a little dog walking down the street. If you've listened already to the video um, about Lowry's artwork, there's a song that says he painted matchstick men and matchstick cats and dogs. Because he used this very kind of simple style with the people. And, and, and a lot of people looking at his artwork like the simplicity, but he always put detail in the buildings has a bell calmness about it and he captures the busyness of lots of people walking about. I might put another person up here but I'm going to make them slightly smaller because remember they're further away. This person down here on the other hand 
might be bigger and I might only see their shoulders. Okay, so I'm beginning to build up the street scene. I'm starting off quite linear. Let's put another building here and then another one. I'll add the tone and shading later. Now this house is nearer than that one to me. I'm over here. So I'm gonna make this doorway a bit bigger and the top of it will go to the vanishing point. Um, maybe I'll only have two windows in this house. Like I said, you don't have to copy that one. Didn't forget the roof. Okay, and then another house here. One, two, I'm gonna put four windows in this one. In the doorway. Maybe you draw somebody coming out of the door. Okay, let's put some smoke from the industrial city behind us. Okay, so I'm beginning to build up my street. Now, um, this is a picture that's in grayscale, so it's a drawing that Lowry did. He did a lot of paintings as well, and if you want to look at some of his colour pictures, or remember the ones we show in the video in Google Classroom, you can add some colour if you have those materials at home. But remember his colours are quite, we call them muted, so not very bright, they're more kind of beiges and pastel -y type colours. Um, they look a little bit grimy, like a city, like industrial looking. Um, if you want to just do it in pencil, that's great. So you can put some shading in to give it a sense of tone. Okay, now I'm gonna stop there because you need time in your lesson to actually do this. What you need to do is finish off the other half of the street and then upload it to your Google Classroom. So you have a finished picture of a Lowry street scene. We hope you enjoy the lesson and we really look forward to receiving your work. Try hard, do your best and ask any questions in the Google stream if you need to. Have a good day. Bye bye.